I'm doing a thing too. Live on Instagram for the first time ever live for this show. Welcome to Inked and Chattered. So we'll see how this goes, right? Ready? I, I see you're excited. Hey, look at the excitement on Cruz's face for this, huh? Excited? Novella? No? Oh, I thought she was pulling her shirt up. I mean, hey, we need viewers. <laughs> Real excited. We need likes. We need likes and all that good stuff. Are you ready to roll? Mm -hmm. Let's get into it. Welcome to another edition of Inked and Chattered. As always, brought to you by Revelation Inc., Smithville, Tennessee. Fred, Corey, and myself taking care of all your tattoo and piercing needs. You can follow us on Facebook at Revelation Inc. on Facebook and Instagram and all that other good shit that we do. <sighs> We're back. How's everybody doing? Good weekends? Back in the saddle again. Back! You like that? It's my Steven Tyler. <laughs> Otherwise, no. <laughs> it's my best Steven Tyler impersonation. It was a good weekend. Yeah? Kind of a... Usually we do the UFC thing, right? We're still going to do it. We're going to try. No. But it was kind of a, a foggy UFC weekend. It was a very foggy night. Yeah, it was very foggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, off topic, real quick. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't. For everyone out there, just like, don't. I love Corona. We all know this. But the Corona premieres and the dull boys. Don't. Don't. Just, just leave it be. Take <clears throat> the additional 90 calories. Take your boy Diego's word for it. Drink regular Corona out of the glass bottle. But we're going to drink these, though, because he bought them, and that would be a party foul. If not, it'd be waste. What? What's your problem? What's my problem? Yeah. Go Niners, huh? Eh? Uh, yeah, these you're the only one. Specifically for us, and you're not even... I can give my a long name. I don't even know where mine's at. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, a long girl. A long girl with a long name. It's... There you go. Like this? All right. So you're now, supposed to be I got supporting. it. Hey, 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 hey. I got it. There it is right there. I have not yet to figure out how cameras work, so I'm sorry. Your left is your right, and your right is your left. So why don't you, uh, like tell, why don't you tell everybody where we got these... Uh, we can tell I don't use those very often. These badass koozies <laughs> from, right? Personalized. <laughs> huh? You know you drink a lot when you have personalized koozies. Personalized. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you yeah we, we have several. Um, Carried when inspired from Instagram and Facebook. This one's mine. May contain alcohol with our names. This one's mine. This one's mine. <laughs> and both the boys have uh, their signature shake it because they think you should shake your beers you before you drink them. You should shake your beers before you drink them. You gotta shake them up. Them. Just, you just shouldn't bow, though. Bow. It should be linked on our pages on yeah. this video. All if the you links. want to roll over there, grab your own. All, all the links. All the links. They're beautiful. So we want to... Try and tackle this UFC thing best we can. Man, you know what? I'm gonna try. Like I, I can remember one what. or two fights. I did, two fights. I did not absorb the fights like I usually. Yeah, do. I just kind of it was one of those. Whew. My brain was foggy from beer, yep. meats. Yep, a lot and, of eats. And Fucking lots a. of weed. Lots of weed. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of meat. A lot, dude. Like, what was it? okay? So break it down. There's okay. probably what, like six of us there. Six, probably six, maybe seven. If you, yeah, yeah. Like six of us there. Yeah. We had like fifteen burgers. Yep. Had six brats. On your own. Four steaks. <laughs> a, a pack of chicken. Two packets of chicken. Two packets of chicken. Y'all didn't bring me no chicken. <laughs> Dolts are talking. Let's Two see. bags of chips. Ah, I forgot about the chips. Not to mention all the bread, all the buns that go with, like, it wasn't just a meat party. Asparagus, <laughs> mac and cheese. Yeah. It was a sausage I didn't, party. I didn't get it was just mac and cheese. I, I, was, I was lucky enough to watch the mac and cheese I get know. finished, and I beat. No, not for you. I beat Rude. your brother. I beat your brother to the stove. You know what he did? <laughs> I can only. He made it to go play with, like, six play. hours <laughs> left. <laughs> he was that guy. He was that he guy. Was that he was that motherfucker. I walked over there and looked under the plate, like, ah, I'll yeah, touch I, my I to go play. I'm like, I knew what he was doing. <laughs> was I, was like, cheese? I was like, you want me to get you? Oh, and lamb. We had lamb, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about lamb. Yeah, found some lamb. Three things of lamb, too. I was like, you want me to get you some mac and cheese? He's like, no, I got it right here. And like, well, you're going to sit down with it? And I seen him put the foil over it. And I was like, uh-huh, you uh -huh. motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> if I get hungry, it's going down. I'm just letting you know now. Your so lamb's going to disappear. after all you guys left, me and two other guys went out to the bar. When we came home, the only thing that was left was one sirloin steak. Yep. 
Oh. I made a sandwich out of it. There it is. I made a sandwich out <laughs> there of it. With is. horseradish and hot sauce. Yeah, where all that food went, I have no idea. I think we ate it. We, yeah, we ate it. Did we eat it? We, we did eat it. We did eat it. There you go. We had carnitas and cheesecake and so many mixed drinks. So many mixed drinks. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and Dr. Robot on a keg in the house. Where at? Yeah, not for you. You're not coming over there and getting it. That's for me. <laughs> I know where that's at. Yeah, I know. Where I know that's exactly at too. where that's at. Yeah. <laughs> we're going on vacation we're, soon, yeah, are you? Yeah, we're <laughs> gonna we're gonna wrap it up now. We gotta be back. Dr. That's Robot what, is so good. But you we are good going. Time. You are going on vacation. Yep. Now, embarrass you, this might, but it's never stopped me before. It's never stopped me before. Oh, I forget that things happen. This is gonna be <laughs> your first trip to the beach. That's not a business trip, or just first beach beach trip in the history of your 32 years. 27. 27 I, I think maybe when I was a baby, someone might have took me to like North Carolina or something, but I don't, I don't even know if that's true. I, I maybe I'm just kind of fragmenting that, but I've never been to a sandy ocean beach. Uh, in Japan, I went to the ocean and on the deathy rock shores and touched it just to say I've done it, but I've never been on the sandy sunny, beach. sandy, beautiful beach. I've never, ever, ever. And so, this what part? My first time. You're going to Florida? Yes. What part? They've changed it like eight times. I think it's. Don't look at me. I can't. You don't. Keep track. Yeah, I don't. Can't keep up with. I think so, Naples or something. Naples, Florida. Maybe I don't really? know. Down. You going down the tip? You're gonna. Be, it was that's Panama. A, that's, that's Cuba. It yeah, was Panama, Miami. and then they yeah. changed it to somewhere, and then somewhere, I, they keep changing it on us. So yeah, I think I think Naples is down by like Miami and uh, the Hacienda Garden. Somebody help us me here. What I Where's think. Naples, Florida? At? I know it's down. Yeah, by so Miami. I don't know because I've never been. So I, you just pick it. Yeah, I, I know it's around the Miami area. The only time I went to Florida was to drop off some inmates, and that was no fun. So. Some men mates? Whoa. Inmates? Please to oh, never mind. <laughs> some of them were probably men. <laughs> Men mates, huh? Yes, men mates. mates. Six ninety nine. You get to see these feet. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I bought some new shoes. How'd they fit? Wait, go. You're going to tell the story. Tell I'm going to tell because if tell I tell it, it'll hurt as bad if you tell it. So they, they had size 13 in women's at the store? I got nine and a half. But the, the kicker, no pun intended, <laughs> they weren't wide enough. I sit there and watched her try to put them on. It was like the... <laughs> <laughs> she goes... You remember the scene <laughs> in Cinderella where the stepsisters are trying to get the, the yeah. slipper on? She, it fits. <laughs> First of all, they're too long, but they're not wide Your enough. Your feet. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No. Yeah. The shoe's too long, but it's not wide enough. So that is a problem. But then as I was trying to take them off and being like, my feet aren't that big, about broke my toe on the table. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chunk and he's over here with his pizza just like, I'm trying so hard, but you're making it this too easy. <laughs> just be quiet. I, I, was, I, was, I was trying. We're, we're getting show prep ready. I'm I need hungry. some sandals I was trying, for the beach. trying to eat a piece of pizza. Me want pre shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me tire. Me, men croc. Uncomfortable. <laughs> I do not wear crocs. I yeah. refuse. Oh, it's, I, hey, I got a pair of slides. You can no, and I hate your slides too. Uh, they're ugly. You know, I just <laughs> have to settle in to wearing the Xeno Warrior Princess shoes that you usually rock. How are slides ugly? Those are fun. No. Those little gold strappy ones I Those have are nice. men's. Those are not. <laughs> how they're are nice sli- little gladiator how women's shoes. How are slides <laughs> ugly? <laughs> They, look, they remind me of inmate well, shower shoes. And I just did that for so long. I just don't Sometimes like it's fun to take a shower in your shoes. No, you have to there. You're going to catch all the things. Wow, I'm hurt. Yeah. It, I'm hurt. Don't, don't listen to her. She didn't mean it. Not you. I like your slides. They just remind me of the slides that they were there. She, her opinion doesn't count. Remember that. Always never forget Feet that. Feet are probably too wide for them anyway. That's true. It'd be like shaving off the side skins. <laughs> <laughs> Little pinky toe get hooked, get jammed, try to play. <laughs> I'm going to break both of y'all's feet. That's it. I am they leaving. Fit. <laughs> they fit. They <laughs> fit. A big toe just hangs over the top. <laughs> it folds over. Uh, Got a grip. Yeah. <laughs> These motherfuckers ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Wear them in the water and everything. Man. You'll be Extreme fine. Extreme tall. <laughs> You'll find shoes that fit one day. I have plenty that fit. Oh. What do you think I'm running around barefoot all the time? Don't look under the table. <laughs> I'm barefoot yeah. right at this moment. <laughs> yeah. I took off my Converse. But I do have shoes that fit. Yeah. I got plenty that fit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I believe you. <laughs> How's your sunburn going? Is your sunburn? You know what? I think we they actually do good. wear the same size shoes. They're not quite as dark. Yep. I mean, there's like a little spot still. but. No, okay. I see it from here. You got... <laughs> Perma, perma Square. I don't know if anyone remembers what two months ago now. 
Novella decided to go tubing with pretty man sandals that she found. It was the only thing that, that fit. Was it, were they sandals or were they? They, <laughs> they were like Chacos for women. Uh-huh. 13 <laughs> wide. Uh-huh. Yeah. 13 wide orange. Blue. D- whatever. <laughs> Decides to go tubing. Nine. Didn't think about protecting her feet. Get a perfect square right on the top of her foot. When we go Forever, to Florida, gonna there. I'm going to put Forever. my tattoo guard also on those spots on you, my feet. And maybe it'll... Duct tape it. Balance. I'm not going to duct tape it. it. Reverse tape it. But if I put that tattoo... Walk around the it. beach barefooted with duct tape on the square. No. Or or wear, wear Chacos and get the whole sunburns. That's stylish. Yeah. That's stylish. Start something Crocs. new. You could go eight ninety nine. Yeah, Crocs, my bad. Eight ninety nine, dollars uh, cam girl, to see the speckled feet. Yeah? I love it. No. I love it. Moving on, let's try to get into this UFC thing. So, it was another fight night, which we got one more before we get to the big fight uh, two weeks from now, what, 12th to 15th, something mm-hmm. like that. Um, yeah. To be honest with you, the only one I really remember is the main one. And that was Brunson and Shab- Shab- Shabizian. Shab- Shabizian. Shabizian. I don't know how to say his last name. Yeah, it's fine. I can't eat. I can't Shabazin. Think, yeah, this is terrible. Sh- what is it? Shabazz. Shabazion. Something Sh- like Shabazin. that. Shabazzin. Yeah. Babylon. I remember the chick fight before that, too. I just can't remember oh, who it fought. It was, it uh, was uh, Jennifer Maya and Joan, jo- Joanne Calderwood. Calderwood. Calderwood, that's it. Cal- and then even after, she, so Calderwood got choked out. got down, beat, yeah. But then she fainted as well, though. So she got, she got beat. I think she got submitted. Yeah. But when she got up, she fainted. She checked back out. It's like a thing today. It's they've been talking about it all in the news feed. I don't know why I didn't let them go too long or something. Or? I, I think maybe she just you know how they usually. Or I mean, it was at the end of the round, so she probably just really winded. It could be too. Yeah. She got up too quick. She didn't exactly just sit there. So so yeah, that's is that our UFC review? That's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Beautiful, Joe Rogan. Look out, we're coming for you. <laughs> Come for your spot. You're already not in the video. By the way, Joe Rogan's not in UFC four. I know. I, I heard about that. I heard that he he's not. Don't I heard like he that. doesn't exactly love. He doesn't like voice tracking. He doesn't like tracking for for get video games. I don't blame him. To be honest, I don't know that I could sit and do it. It's hard enough to do this sometimes for a full hour. Not for any other reason. I'm just saying. Sometimes it's why hard. do you keep why looking you keep at me? Looking at me? Like you're just, she's waiting to pounce on me. Every time I look at you, you think like I'm accusing you of something. It's not I'm you. Just, I'm just, just listening at you. This is just my face. Yeah, it's just this your is face. what it looks like. Can't help it. We do have one coming up though. That's this weekend. This weekend. Yeah. This yep. week, another fight night. Headlining Derek Lewis and Olenek. Yes. See, and I didn't know Derek Lewis was fighting until about six hours ago when you were like, "Hey, mm-hmm. you called me." By the way, did you know? And I was, no, I Mike, did not. What? Guess who's fighting next weekend? Derek Lewis. Yeah. I know that now. My balls got hot. <laughs> you know, why are your shorts off? My balls are hot. <laughs> My balls are hot. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Wyman's fighting too. He's fighting, uh, oh, I can't pronounce this guy's name, o- Omari Akhmedov. He did a good job. Good job. I think that's pretty accurate. I like that. We're going to say it's right. Sounds like him. I know John Anik, but I can do my best. <laughs> We've seen that Chris Bella fight before. Oh, Weidman, yeah. yeah we've yeah, we've watched a... Weidman fight many, many times. He's the one that, that uh, beat Anderson Silva, and then Silva snapped his leg into, and then he <laughs> beat La- Rock. I watched that Luke video. Rockwell. He beat Anderson twice, didn't he? Twice, technically. Yeah. Uh, Anderson broke his leg the second time. Mm-hmm. But he caught him. The first fight was the fight that he yeah. just bleep. Second one was the, was the broken leg. Um, this lady got pink hair. Who? Yana Anderson Silva? Kudin- so, yeah, Anderson no, Silva. No, the girls. Yana oh. Kunis Yaka Kaya. I don't know how to say your name. Please try it again. I don't know, but I, she goes by uh, Foxy. Good. But that's not Foxes. So. Anyway, she got pink hair. Are you looking? You're looking up the card for. I think it's the same one. The girls earlier earlier in the night. There's one that has pink hair. Yeah, that's uh, who's she fighting? Yana. Can't Kuhn- pronounce her name either. Go, that's the one I was telling you about. Who's like Fedor? Comes oh, in there and yeah. it's just like and stonewalled. Stone, her name's stone faced. I mean, I'm I'm guessing Sh- Julia Stolarenko. 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 I don't know. I'll take. It sounds it. Russian. I'd take. I'll take it. I'll take it for four hundred, Alex. 
But yeah, that one's gonna be pretty good. I'm I'm excited to see Derek Lewis fight again. Hopefully his balls don't get too hot. Olenek is a fucking beast. He is. Yeah, he, he is. A beast. Yeah, Alexei Olenek is. He's old, but it, it could be because Derek Lewis. He's on this new training regimen now. He's cutting weight. Last time he cut weight, uh, and he faced the Ro- was it Rosenstrike before Nagano got a hold of Rosenstrike. Mm, I'll double check. Yeah, that, look look that up. But I'm al- I'm almost positive that's that's how that went down. Almost positive. You good over here? Don't fucking put your hair sheds on me. That's disgusting, bro. He's fine. I take your hair sheds. Oh wait. <clears throat> <laughs> you don't That's have any. Right. Our thing made a. He did. He's got funny. a win. He's got a win over Nuganu. Yeah. He's got a win over Volkov. Daniel beat him. DC, and then Dos Santos beat him, and then he won against Ivanov. That was his last. No, that wasn't his last fight. But he fought Latifa. Latifi. Queen Latifa. Yeah, Latifa. Yeah. Queen Latifi fought her. She win? No. Oh. Went to decision though. <laughs> uh, close enough. Yeah. So yeah. he's, I, I don't know how he couldn't beat Daniel, but but he's got a win over Nagano and Volkov, so that's Cormier is a sneaky beast. He like, is. He's a sneaky beast. He, he doesn't is. get the respect, and he would probably beat Stipe if he wouldn't have got out of his own realm in the second fight. He could be retired right now, doing doing his podcast with Ariel, doing the you know he well he still is the wrestling coach at Gilroy High. But, like, yeah, he could not have to be fighting right now. Or he could be fighting John. Yeah, right? Huh? Right? Huh? A heavyweight. So that was going to happen. I genuinely believe that that was going to happen. Ooh. I think. They're rough. Well, the yeah, one where they get, the worse they get. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to yeah. get them down I, quick. I was taking small sips, and then, no, that's a bad oh. idea. You got to yeah. chug it. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, don't chug it. You shotgun these boys? <laughs> I don't no. <laughs> no? No. I don't shotgun any cat? boys. No, I, yeah, don't, <laughs> I don't know what you do in your free time. You shouldn't mm. you should not. You, you should, should not be not. shotgunning boys. What's your what's your favorite three movies? Go. Just <laughs> on demand. You yeah. know I can't. Yeah, you should can. No, I can't. Go. Go uh, ahead, Cruz. Pulp fiction. Yeah. God damn it. Pulp fiction. Yep. Pineapple Express. Okay. I didn't mean to put that in your face. Favorite three movies, what do you got? Goodfellas. Put them below. Let's see them. <clears throat> Excuse me? That's comment, a comment below. Put- okay. <laughs> my, mine and yours are kind of similar. It'd be uh, Godfather, one, one forever one, not even close. Two would be Wayne's World, and uh, three would be Goodfellas. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Y'all know I don't do it. Oh, we literally stalled for you. I know, and I still don't have an idea. Just Na- say name three movies that you like. Because like, 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 then about ten minutes later, but oh wait, that's well, not, this is well, better. Three minutes, movies that you like. Three more fucking movies. Why is it so hard for you? Because I don't like. Three I don't movies want, that you like. Because then we'll come back later, like. and now I'm going to feel bad for the other movie that I What are three movies that you like? I'm not going to I don't think Morgan Freeman's going to be watching this show anytime soon. That if he bitch is, didn't you, even mention <laughs> this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> if Morgan no. Freeman is watching this movie or this movie, <laughs> this show, will you please, please, Morgan Freeman, do our intro? We need this, please. Go ahead. We'll wait. Uh, Name three movies. Two white. Uh, Ace Ventura because I just recently <laughs> and watched that. And a woman with large feet. <laughs> I like that one. See, then when I talk, you don't listen to me. So I'm just gonna say nothing. And we're listening. No. We're listening. You no. said. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stall me. Mm-hmm. It's Ventura. Which one? Hmm. Nature Calls or Pet Detective? Pet Detective. Okay. What? It's really close, though. But Pet Detective. I like Nature one. Calls. I like one better oh. than two. Oh, yeah. Not me. I like the... Guns dicking into my hip. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like the whole football thing. Oh, shit. Let's see. Um, Dillinger. Wait, what? Dillinger. That's a good movie. Is that a real movie? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant Public Enemy. And you just couldn't. Well, there's another. It's like a like a old old movie. But I probably gave me too. Okay. Oh, but now see, like, oh, Lonesome Dove. Oh, the rest of the like, show. Right, I knew no, that. I knew she I'll, would get us. Lonesome through. Dove. I knew she would get us through the show. <laughs> yep. And then just because I've watched it enough times to quote it, Van Helsing, like the Hugh Jackman version. I've seen it so many times. It's ridiculous. But I haven't watched it recently. 
Probably should rewatch it. See if it's as good as I thought it was. Come on with the list already, though. Uh, three see. movies. <laughs> Your favorite three movies. Uh, you don't Spirited need a backstory. Away. I like that. All, this All right. Is that's three. Stuff. That's three. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got posters of it. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. That's it. That's one of my favorite ones. Jesus that's the one. Christ. Going please, back. Please help us. Final Fantasy, We're having children. We're still looking for a third person. No. Email novella. I can't do favorites because it changes. Asylum. Productions. My moods change. During Halloween, my favorite's going to be Sweeney Todd and Hocus Pocus. And then during some other time, it's going to be different movies. My you got to think of it changes. like three movies, okay? You're on an island for the rest of your life. You have three movies to watch. And that's it. It's just these are movies you're gonna be able to watch over and over and over and over on a loop, right? All that's on this island is. Then any more time than you're just yelling at me. No, I gotta sit down. Three movies. Pick them out. An ice chest and your feet. That's those are the only things that keep you company for the rest of your life. What would it be? What Can't. are your three movies? Can't. You know what's a you know what's a close second with Goodfellas? Casino. Casino. Oh yeah. That's, Casino. Dude. That was almost my number two, but I don't want everybody thinking yeah. that's all I do is sit and watch mob movies. Those are the best ones. Those are the best ones. You know, Lonesome Dove. When I said that, or do you know what that is? Yeah, with the uh, with the beef. It's what's for dinner, guy. Oh. Sam Elliott. Yeah. Sam Elliott's not in that. No. No. Then I. Don't I can't know remember. I know. Dove. He has a white mustache. Robert but. Duvall. <laughs> yeah, that's his uh, name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it a country and western movie? No, it's just straight western, like. Herd, it's a long herding the cattle, herd, and they got all the horses. Isn't it like three hours long? Yeah, and that's just the original because there's also a two box set thing with two more like the the man. It's like the man with a black jacket or something. There's two other parts, but they're not as important or as good as Lonesome Dove. But Lonesome Dove in itself is three hours long, so it's good. It is good, but it's, it's a long movie. fucking watch. Yeah. I like, still haven't even got through the Irishman. I was just getting ready to say that. Yeah, like, the yeah. long movies we fell asleep tend, yeah, like twice. <laughs> tend to get to me real quick. Because to get me to sit still, A, is impossible. B, mm-hmm. watch a movie. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Unless it's one I've seen a million times. You did last night. We watched one last that night. That is true. That was a good fucking movie. Yeah. It, it didn't end the way I, I thought it. was called End of Watch. End of Watch. End of, end of Watch. watch. It was good. Jake Gyllenhaal. And um, I can never remember the other actor's name, but he's in Chips. He's also Chico. Hey, what are you doing to my dog, man? He's also in uh, Observer Report. Yeah, he's in a lot. He's in Ant Man. Mm -hmm. He's in. He's in so many movies. Oh, we mentioned it earlier. I love Thumb on Louise too. Huh? Yeah, Uh, we're moving on. I can't. I can't do it. Fine, we'll come back to you and you give us another three in about five minutes. (laughs) I will. When you're feeling your (gasps) Mr. Fantastic (laughs) Fox. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh oh my god. (laughs) I'm just gonna all the rest of the night. I'm gonna keep thinking of movies. Jesus Christ. What's your favorite holiday? What's your favorite holiday? Halloween. Halloween. Thanksgiving. The no. fuck is wrong with you? Ha- Halloween. Thanksgiving. Halloween. Halloween. Not for family, but for food. Halloween. Really? Halloween. Mm-hmm. I mean, and also because of a sow hay anyway, I'm going to get food, part, period. So, all the food. <laughs> only, only, <laughs> people, what? Don't let me just, you don't understand something. <laughs> you don't get, you don't get to dress up for Christmas or Thanksgiving or you can dress up for Easter, but you're just the creepy uncle. But... Mm. I know karate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not practicing karate with you. It's been fucking morning for the last time. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, Halloween's close second, but Thanksgiving only for the food. I, I will bitch and complain about having to take... Food and football, yeah. yeah. Thanksgiving Dude, is good for that. See? Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Cowboys I... always play... Mm. Always play. They the Halloween's on a Saturday, play. so we'll have football, Halloween, and, and, and a full moon. And if it happens, well, if we do have this football. will be the first year in a very long time, which ironically, it's not their name anymore, but the Cowboys will play the Washington football team. The Washington football team. That's which all is, they have yeah, right now. Is that what they've gone with? That's what they're yeah, sticking the with for now because they can't oh, do Oh, yeah, that's, their, that's, the, that's the Washington football team's new name. <laughs> Dude, the bro, Washington football team. Dan Schneider, line one. Pick a name. Yeah, that dude, that dude with the copyright. Would, I mean, that, the, I mean, it fits. It's good for the season. Yeah, might as well. With their helmets. That guy couldn't copyright have. that one? No, he can't. It's like the most obvious one. Should have got that one, too, just yeah. for fun. Yeah. Just for fun. Gotcha, bitch. Now he's out. Now he's like, fuck. Yeah, now I got to start stalking another team for the next hundred years. Yeah. It's fine. Which one will be next? Well, th- there now there are a lot of, there are a lot of conversations that... Uh, the Chiefs should sh- change their name. The Atlanta Braves should change their name. A couple college football teams. See, those, and stuff those like that. to me aren't. I, I, don't, I don't, you know, 
Yeah. Yeah. The Redskins, I get. I get. Which I is get that one. A long time coming. A long time coming. I get it. But I get it. Nah. I get it. It's really not that big of a deal, but it's, I get I it. I get it. I yeah. get it. That's, but, like, the Chiefs and the Braves, like, what's wrong with like, what's wrong with the Chiefs? I don't know. I, I don't know. That's moving thing. Moving on. Moving on. If you could live. Oh, hold on. This is... This is show fair. Is this all going to be list, though? Because I can't do it. Yeah, exactly. That's what makes it so fun. <laughs> yeah. if, if you could live in one TV series, a TV series, if you could live in that household for one week, what would it be? Always Sunny. Yeah, I was like, definitely Always Sunny. Yeah. But I would just be treated like D the whole time. So I'm not sure if I want that it's misery. Fine. Think it through. Mm. Take your time. All the shenanigans Go. you get in. I know. But yeah, Always Sunny. Probably, yeah. Married with children. It was my life anyway. That was my childhood anyways. I don't know. I didn't have both my parents, so. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that one up. <laughs> Fuck that one up. <laughs> first, first 24. Yeah. No, I'm sticking with married to children. You mean first 48? Whatever. <laughs> first 24. Maybe half of them. Whatever. Where I'm from, it's going to do it in the, in the first 24. A week is more than 48 hours, though. Yeah. <laughs> it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, asshole. Let's move on. Moving on. What do you got, Novella? What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> you just chastise me? You got nothing? You're killing me right now. I told you I wasn't prepared today. I've been busy. Uh, send them to the website. Send, send them to. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about your, about her car. My poor car. Yeah. Send them to the website to the Patreon. Good thing you got strong feet. <laughs> And I will walk a thousand more. <laughs> and I will walk a thousand more. <sighs> the Patreon slash so the Productions, head over there. We have some tiers for you to choose from. Each one will require a different amount of donation, and each one will, the higher you go, the more you get. We got background scenes. We have some discounts on merchandise. Um, All the things. There's a lot of stuff. We got some more stuff rolling in. Here soon, hopefully, we'll have some really cool things for you. But you won't know if you don't participate. That's right. So uh, yeah, donate to the Patreon. Um, hit up our website. Also, while you're on the interwebs, go to hellfireradio.com, which is where we're broadcasting live right now on Instagram. Give them a wave, way Instagram. And also, we will air Tuesday night on Facebook on the Hellfire Radio page. So, and also we got a radio station. That's right, Hellfire Radio actually. Has a radio station. All you gotta do is load up the live no. 365 app on your uh, iPhone. Go to the iPhone store, whatever the fuck it's called, right? You think I'd get this down by Apple now. Play Store? The Play Store, or you Something go to like the Goodwill store if you have the Android. Play Store. And you get your. And you get your I can't make that joke. She doesn't have, you have an Android still? Yeah. Then that joke still is. Not, until I get back from vacation, I'm not pairing up with y'all and getting an iPhone. When I get back. You are. When I get back, I will. Who's gonna teach you how to use it? Can we talk about this for a minute? This is a great segue before I get into what I really don't want to talk about over here, what I got pulled up. What are we talking about? Because, no, we're going to talk about you for another, probably another 10 minutes. That's not good. As we were getting <laughs> ready, as we were getting ready to go live and start the show. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> You're my witness, Cruz. I'm going to log on. Okay. Losing, Bye, everybody. Losing her fucking mind because she couldn't get your camera linked in. What seemed to be the problem? Do you know? Do you know? Yeah, I know. What was now, it? What was it? It went blood in. <laughs> <laughs> Just short of pounding fist on the table. John got me camera now. You gotta plug it in. Yeah. You gotta plug it in. Yeah, I know. I counted usually, four. I counted four. Usually. Mics, three cameras. This wasn't at all what it was. And the power source. The power source. Yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> and the power source. Oh, God. So here it is. Fact or fiction. People swall- swallow eight spiders a year. While oh, you sleep. definitely do. It's a f- fiction. Oh, you definitely do. Fact or fiction? Um, I don't think that many. You don't swallow any. You don't swallow any. It's well, you don't swallow them. They crawl in there. It's fiction. But however, it goes on to say, uh, luckily for all of us, that it's a, uh, a fiction Although there's a lot of other things that people ingest, they don't think about while they're sleeping, like bed bugs and gnats, and just like overall like dust mm-hmm. particles. If I know I snore, I know I sleep with my mouth open. Yeah, me too. The, the harder the the harder I fall, the harder I sleep. I sleep just like a little lullaby angel. 
quiet, serene. In your swamp. <laughs> While you're gator rolling. <laughs> gator hog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, that's fiction. But could you imagine, though? Could you imagine? Like, waking up, and you just got, like, something stuck in the back of your throat. I don't even get it. I, like, I, I don't know, dude. I've woke up sometimes, and I've felt like that. You know, like your mouth's just been so dry. You're like, yeah. You know, where you instantly wake up and you think you have the Rona, but mm -hmm. it's just where you just all look night around long. for the cat of piss in your mouth. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if I go to bed drinking beer or energy drinks. You know what'll really get you? Fucking eating Chinese and then going to bed, bro. All that MSG bro. and salt just. Yeah, but how many times have we brought home Chinese? And us eat well, like a every pound time, of it, every and then we're like, okay, time in, for bed. In yeah. the quarantine. <laughs> I wake up, and I'm like... <laughs> yeah. In the quarantine... I feel like I'm in the Sahara. The buffets weren't open there for a minute. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I got a question. Yeah. All-time favorite comedian. Go. <laughs> All-time favorite. Go ahead. do 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 Come back to me. <laughs> Go, Novella. I'll come back. Come back to me. No. Yeah. Because it's going to come back to you quickly. It's fine. Let me think. Just let me think a little bit. Just a little you bit. go. Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> Mitch Hedberg. That's a good one. No. Who's yours? <laughs> it's a toss up. It's it's a pretty it's a hard choice. Because one of them. One of them's a little bit more family oriented, and the other one's not so much. And it's a hard choice between the two. But I love both of them, so I'm just gonna say both of them. Jim Gaffigan, yeah, and Bill Burr. Oh yeah, Bill Burr is just God. Yep. He's so who is Jim, I was all thinking. Jim Gaffigan's jokes about food. I just relate to, so it's yeah. it's hard not to be like one of my favorite comedians. Anything he's ever acted in, like he was on that '70s show. I don't remember if you remember that, but he was the uh, I like, don't. He was like the loser manager, whatever that Hyde's mom worked with. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That is right. <clears throat> he's a, he's a sneaky actor too. Yeah. He's in a lot of shit. He's in a lot of shit. I was gonna say Bill Burr because I can't think of the female's name that I like, but obviously she can't be my favorite if I can't think of her name. But I like that little Asian woman. Um, oh man, I can't remember her name. I know she's really. Funny. I know who you're talking about, talking about. And she did the one segment where she was pregnant. It was like. Mama Cobra or Baby Cobra, something like that, was the like the last one of the latest ones she did. I don't watch enough. She did that comedians. movie that we watched, uh, the mate, the Always know, My Maybe or whatever. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you're talking but, about. Exactly. Yeah, I guess you can't be a favorite. I don't know her name, but I, I do like Bill Burr quite a close. He's a name that I do know. I'm really bad with names. Is a problem too with that kind of stuff. I don't do names well. But. Close second for me is old George Lopez. The new George Lopez. God, the new one was good. It was got, good. You got a little political in it. Yeah, but. and and so it's like I like to keep. Keep that out of my jokes. It's still yeah. funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's the same with Dave Chappelle. He's gotten more political yeah. in his stand-up mm -hmm. now. But, but still, like the older stuff that we still, still Old George Lopez. Kills. Yeah, old George Lopez. It'd it be over top of all. Yeah, that's yeah. my childhood right there yeah. is George Lopez. Oh, dude, yeah. Like, by a long shot. By a long shot. Oh, God. Novella. Yeah. What do you have? Oh, I didn't even try. Tell me, you're not even over there trying. Well, I started to, and then you started talking, so I just quit trying. Oh, my goodness. I figured you were going to handle it. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Big shoulders. I'll carry. Ready? Here we go. Mine's broken today. That so. is true. Both of you. Well, actually. Both of you have fucked up shoulders right now. What, month and a half? Mine's been broken. I don't know how long you've been lying about yours, so. <laughs> I mean, it's not broken. There's nothing wrong with his shoulder. Mm. Yeah, nothing was wrong with mine either. No, you're, until I got you, forced to go to the doctor. You have tendonitis. I, I'm going to kill you. The, the difference is, is I can move mine. Yeah, she has. Yeah. She there's has like, tendonitis. When I do this right here. There's some. There's some tension. Yeah. Pain. Whatever. I got up like this a second ago, and I couldn't go no yeah, further. See, couldn't I, even drink my beer. I, I can I move get it. Down. Yeah. <laughs> and I could work out with it, but remember here a couple of days. I'm just like, ooh. It's mm. not, ooh. Today it's not been so great. Telling you, tendonitis. You've had MRIs, you've had X rays, you've had them try to reset it. None of it's the problem. It's tendonitis. Listen to the old guy on the set. Mm. I'm almost 40, 37. I've had it. I all. just did my MRIs today. We'll see what they'll say. They're gonna, they're gonna tell you, oh, we don't see anything wrong. 
That's what they said with the x-ray. Mention the words tendonitis and watch them all go, oh. <laughs> one state you could live in other than this one, what would it be? It's got to be state. It's got to mm. be in the states. Colorado. Colorado. I think that's pretty close. I, I'd be in Arizona. Yeah, you say that every time. Every time. It is Arizona. close to be. I, I like the Colorado like aspects, but whenever I Googled the best place to live for depression, it's Arizona because it's so sunny all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's the best place for, for, for my mm-hmm. mindset. I should actually be in Arizona. I was, even, even when I was back home, even living in California, I always said Arizona would be where I retire. It's just it's always warm out there it's it snows every once in a while like it snowed in scottsdale last me. year I like the heat spring training baseball is out there right you're close to everything you're centrally located you could go to vegas you could go to tahoe you could sneak into california you could go to colorado you could go to texas you're like it's the middle of the west coast is yeah and for me that's fucking that's not a bad spot that's money right there yeah yeah arizona arizona and it's <clears> not even it's not even close i guess a close what would be a close second Hmm. Those are mine, Colorado, Arizona. Man, I really don't think I have a second. <laughs> Maybe well, I don't know if I want to stay there, but I definitely want to go see Oregon. A whole lot of Oregon. I think that'd yeah. be I think that'd be it. I think That's it'd be it. Oregon. Yeah. That's it. I think it's also like very pretty like Colorado. Yeah. It has different things. And it has that big forest. Every yeah. craft beer Yeah distillery, brewery, whatever mm-hmm. the fuck you call them, is there. In Bend, I got a friend that lives in Bend. I got two friends that live in Bend. Isn't that where that came from? What? Uh, no. Uh, the, the Belching Beer, or the Deftones Beer? Yeah. No. Why well, no. do I want to get us confused for because, some reason? Be, I, because I said it was you from said it because was. Chino lives mm-hmm. in That's Bend what it because was. he's working with that distillery. That's what it was. Or whatever, the brewery, and I thought it was. But no, they come, they come from like L.A., somewhere yeah, down south. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Well, we had it flip off a while until we figured it out. It'd be Oregon. It'd be Oregon. It's got a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. It's got the city. It's got the country. You can go, excuse me, you can go to the coast. It's not Washington. It's not California. I'd go back to California heartbeat. I don't even know why I said that. I don't, here I'm sitting trying to fool anybody. Like, yeah. Number one and two is always going to be California for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll retire in Arizona, though. That's where we'll be doing this show. We'll just be remoting from... We'll all be on a... <laughs> oh, God, I can't even think of it. <laughs> on a what? Fucking the thing everybody's using right now. Computer? <laughs> Contraceptives. Valtrex. Yes, and I don't know what that is. Herpes cream, right? <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's just it's just from my detergent. The rash will clear up. It goes away every three months. It's fine. What's the f- worst first date you've ever been on? <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead. And yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, go ahead, please. Oh no, I don't know if it was considered a date or not. You know what I'm talking about, yeah? No, I have no idea. Walk us Dead through. end. Is that? I don't know if that's a date or not. That's a date. You think it's a date? That's a date. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dude asked me to meet him at a park, and I've been there several times. I was like, all right, it's a lot of people there, so that's fine. It's good. Um, it's we'll good. go walking. I'm like, cool, we'll be active, and I can just go away if I want to. <laughs> Zoom <laughs> off. And um, I took this trail several times, but they had new branches on it. One, I went for sure if it was a date or not, but I was pretty certain it was, and he played this whole, I don't know if it's a date or not. Maybe we should look and I'm like okay and of course 110 percent was a dead end <sighs> and he asked me if he could uh kiss me i was like no <laughs> well no hold on you're huh. you're leaving store parts what out of the story newsflash i do know this story you know <laughs> oh he story. lied <laughs> you walk down to the dead end right yeah you get to the dead end and that's when he decides he's gonna ask for a kiss oh yeah at the dead end yeah, yeah. when he was like that's oh important. wow it is a dead end like we didn't know it was gonna be this a is end. a dead end Kiss me. No. And that's when I was like, I'm going to bolt. I bet I could outrun him. <laughs> <laughs> that really happened? Yes. And I said no, so then he asked for a hug. And I was like, I'm not really a touchy-feely person. Mm. And then I don't think, you know how long that thing is? It's like a, I'm not sure how long. It's long. But I think that's the fastest I ever. I just, and he's talking about, yep, 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 yep. Get to our car, fight. <laughs> I gotta go. Now, was that the one that had 
messaged you after the fact and yeah. it said Yeah, asked me how uh, what I thought about him. <laughs> so what you think, girl? That's exactly what he said. Is that what he said? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what you think? And I was like, about that's what? Awesome. Yes, I, I said, about what? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> They call me the lottery because I'm going to change your life. (laughs) (laughs) I don't go on dates anymore. (laughs) I tried to since my previous uh, relationship, but uh, no, I'm good. I'm just going to keep working. This was fine. (laughs) Uh, This is fine. What about you? No, you go. I honestly honestly don't have one in the chamber. I don't eat. I don't either. I don't. I think all my bad dates have been on on my end of just getting bored. I'm pretty good at like whenever there's like an awkward situation. I'm pretty good at like, you know. Oh yeah, I could getting around that. Lie my way out of anything. But don't think I've ever. I've had you know I've had like, you know like, first like first sex experiences. Yeah. I've had plenty of bad yeah, ones of those. Yeah, I, I just had one pop up in my in my mind when you said, when you did this. I was yeah. like, wait, I do have one. Yeah. I had one, it was the first time, looked me in the eyes and said, I trust you. <laughs> I remember this story. What? <laughs> you know how much it took? The no, I do. Yeah, Punch in her big forehead? Yeah, I thought that you meant to recover, I was going to say, because I made sure that I... I helped you out with your recovery for as long no, as I could. No, you mention it all the time. <laughs> all the time? <laughs> That's not I'd helping. i call you, hey, just real quick, I want to let you know. I trust you. <laughs> and then hang up. Yeah. That's probably the worst one. I've had plenty of them that were like, because I mean, it's usually pretty awkward when you first have sex with somebody. Yeah. But that was bad. That yeah. was weird. So I first moved to the state of Tennessee. I'm the odd man out. I have tattoos at a very young age. We, we were both 18. No, no, no. I was 18. She was 20. Okay. Yeah, no, no. No, 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 no. No, this is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Check the stats. Google it. So we decided, first date. It's first date. I'm me. I've always been the same me I was at, you know, 16, 17, 18 to 37. Except with a puka shell necklace. Except with a puka shell necklace. And I had hair, huh? I had hair. Um, so we go to the movies. She's older. She was either 20 or 21. She's 20 or 21. I can't honestly remember. She was older, though. We're going to the movies. Get there, go all the way, do the patented move. You go all the way to the top. Mm-hmm. All the way to the top. In Oak Ridge. So there was like four people in there, maybe six. Get to you know, doing your thing. You know, I can't even tell you what's going on with the movie. Just the jacket, the, the whole nine yards. And she stops. She goes, uh, hold on. Walks all the way down. Comes back up sits there. I was like, oh, okay. My, my mom and dad followed me here. They were watching the whole time. Nice. Tell your mom I said hi. Oh, uh, I thought that was going to go a different route. I thought... No, that's where I, well, that's oh. where I stopped because I was like, oh, this is weird. I thought Mother Nature came to visit or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. She just stopped right in the middle. No, was... I thought she, when you said you went down the stairs, I was waiting for her just to, to walk out. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Yeah, this is terrible. And you were sitting there like waiting on her like... This... Oh, this man. is actually a pretty good movie. I come up <laughs> short again. I come up short again. No, yeah. So she came back every time you stand. Wanted up. to continue, yeah. but I could not continue because I could still see her parents doing the side. She eye. She wanted to continue doing the side eye. This is uh uh-uh, no. Hey, is what it is. That's not is what it is. You just got to you want to do that in front of your parents. I didn't. No, I know that you. Yeah, I, I couldn't. No. Mm mm. Mm, gross. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That was my welcome to Tennessee story. Yeah. Man, I can't believe I don't have a bad first date story. Hmm. Do taking bartenders home count as a first date? They're not dates. Yeah. Those are hook-ems. No. Hook-ems? Hook-em-ups. <laughs> like the... Wait, what? hook em Like a hiccup? Like a, a hook em up I don't know. Whatever. Those are hook Those are hook It's a one nice stand. Unless you keep going back to the same bartender, then I guess it's a... Whatever. No. No. Please continue. No. Tell the story. I'm done talking no. to bartenders. <laughs> three foods. Three foods for the rest of your life. Ah! Only three that no, you could eat no. for the rest of your life. Is this a 
food group, or is this a just a? Could be a, a, a Snickers bar, a banana, and Cheetos, three foods. Oh, fuck. Hmm? So if I had a potato, I could turn it into any kind of potato. Now yeah. you're thinking. See, there you go, potato. See? <laughs> I got a potato. Cheese. Because I will die without cheese. you know, die with cheese. Okay. From the inside. Steak, potatoes, cheese. Yeah, I was like, probably steak. Because I was going to have to get a meat in there. Yeah. So, yeah, steak. I would never get tired of steak. Steak, mm. potatoes, and cheese? Mm-hmm. Nope. That's you too? Nope. 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 Uh, because I don't like the seafood as much as you do. I do enjoy it yeah, now I, more I, so than I ever did. Yeah, but, I'm going to uh, say, uh, not, not enough. Uh, let's just say fish. Fish, chicken, and pasta. But you don't have any cheese to go on your pasta. I don't give a shit. You're just going to have bland ass pasta. It's al dente. <laughs> <laughs> you you just, got all the chicken and fish, put it in the pasta. You don't get no flavors though. No cheese. No cheese. It's fine. No cheese, no mas. It's okay. You know what we can do? You can, make a, you, can make a, you can make a loaded baked potato with just cheese and steak. I don't regret my decision. I'm, I'm down. I don't regret my decision. Can, can I come steal some of your chicken once in a while? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he said nope. 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 I give my, you some cheese. My bland ass chicken and me will be over on the other side of the fucking island. Give you some cheese. Yep. No. 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 Okay. No thank you. We're fine. We're boring ass chicken. We're boring ass chicken. Don't forget, go to our website. <laughs> go to hellfireradio.com. It's going to take you to everything that all of us do here at Hellfire Radio. We've got a little bit of everything, literally. We cover weed culture. We have horror culture. We have sports culture, right? Music, hip-hop, rock. we got everything. Hellfireradio.com. Click on the tabs. You'll see everything we got going on there. Uh, while you're also clicking on tabs, make sure you go hit up the link on Hellfire's Facebook page. For Kinko, go donate, buy a lollipop, buy a t-shirt. We all have our t-shirts. We've not got the lollipops yet, though. Those will be to come. Um, and then, yeah, he's unfortunately recovering right now. Uh, he can use all the help he can get. So definitely go buy a t-shirt, buy some lollipops, or just donate. One dollar, a million dollars, anything helps. So, yeah, there's that. There's that. Novella, it's your turn. You need to pull one out of your hat right now. Pull a rabbit out of the hat right now. Talk about something. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got new, all kinds of things I'm sure I could talk about. New albums. That's not till later. What? <laughs> do it right now. I don't want to do it right now. Do it now. Okay. I will. I had to memorize. It's been a week or so since mm. I've been on here. Uh, upcoming upcoming albums, Avatar. Uh, that'll be soon. This month, I believe. Yep. Um, in four days, August 7th, Avatar will have its new album out. Um, I believe Colossus is on that one. Colossus and that is, song, a, is a single. We're playing it right now on Hellfire Radio. Download the amazing. Live 365 app. Download the Live 365 app right now. Well, not right now. I'm going to finish the show and then download it. Go to Hellfire Radio. Listen to the new single from Avatar, Colossus. Do it! You're welcome. Yes, you're, you're very welcome. It's much good. And then on the 28th, we'll have Seether as well with their new album. Ah, uh, yes. Seavos. Go ahead. And Parabellum. Oh, Yeah, man. words. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you want peace, prepare for war in a different <laughs> language. <laughs> And we have up uh, Dangerous on the site right now if you want to watch the video. Also playing Dangerous on Hellfire And we're playing Radio. it on Hellfire Radio. That's right. That's Check right. it out. So when, Take a when listen. This new, uh, I, he can tell you, I am mm-hmm. jonesing right now on I Prevail. I know it's not a, it's the newest album. It was it dropped in 2019. Every fucking track on it's a not miss. You can't miss. You cannot miss every track. It's the first album. Like I told, like I told Cruz, this is the first album I can remember in a very long time of not of a band of like Deftones Deftones could put out a country song a country album and I'd be like oh, I bought it it was awesome you know that's, because it was Deftones that's my Avenged Sevenfold even you're, if I don't yeah, like you're it Avenged, or like, for I'm you, not even yeah, going to say it Avenged Sevenfold <laughs> so as far as like just pure album of a band that I'm familiar with I prevail but not like a huge huge fan mm-hmm. this album made me a huge fan Trauma yeah that is the, yeah that's the new album uh, I forgot where I was going with it. I got sidetracked. I'm so excited about talking about that album. Oh, um, 
fuck? <laughs> I always forget their name. Happy song. Uh, Parasite Eve. What? Yeah, I know. I'm not even going to tell you I'm so upset. Let it go. Just let it go. <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of the band? Bring Me the Horizon. Bring Me the That's Horizon. Just, oh. When's that new album coming out? You're the fucking fanboy over you. here. Yeah, you should know this shit. You shouldn't even have to pull it up right now. It should be... No, because that one changed. On demand. On the, demand. That's why it's not in the queue, because it changed on me. Oh, wait. That one's already came out. No. Not the album. It hasn't. Mm-hmm. It has not. Okay, well then... Oh, that was just whenever they released uh, Parasite Eve. I don't know. I did have it at one time, but it was no, it wasn't in the queue because I changed it, and then I didn't get a new one on it. So, but just I should not be forgetting their name. Here's here's this, while you're while you're looking that up to see when that new album comes out. If there's even a release date on it yet. That's what I'm saying. I don't think there is one because I think it got moved. Unless I'm just not seeing it. It could be. It just could be one of those things that they had to throw in a a, a new track make everybody forget about that techno album they put out last year <laughs> so that was bad that was bad even you were like i don't really like it but i didn't say it was bad <laughs> but no i mean but i love almost so much it's probably one of my favorite ones and then almost a good album a uh, separate turtle I, mean, I like it all i can't every because every each one has parts of it that a song or two is like i need that in my life like it was pertinent at that point in time in my life yeah, i'm not seeing a date here we go. Oh, Top go. 10 best albums of 1997. Ready? 1997? 1997. You guys were like, what, six? No, we were, well. I was three. You I were was three. four, and you were 10? No, 10. You were 10. No, you 83. Was like 15. No, like that. no. Yeah, 83 to 97. 99. I'm not good at math. 99, I was 16. 10. 15, 14. I was 14. 14. I was 14. Yeah. I was thinking 87, but it's 83. I was 14 yeah. in 1997. Uh, so here we go. Top top ten albums That's from correct. 1997. Rock <laughs> albums from 1997. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Strapping young lad uh, from. Right let's see what that that album was called. City. That one does not ring a bell to me. No idea. Um, the divine wings of tragedy. Symphony X. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I always screw up Rammstein's album names, but it had Duhast on it. I can never ever ever pronounce that. But it was that album. Okay. Okay. That was number seven. Number six, uh, the Fat of the Land, the Prodigy. Huh? Good album. Good album. It was a good album. Uh, Metallica with Reload. It's when they come out with the haircuts. Uh, for all the youngsters in the room, Metallica cut their hair back in 1996. Took a lot of shit for it. Uh, Science by Incubus. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, the Color and Shape by the Foo Fighters. Um, let's see. Anthems of the Welkin at Dust by Emperor. Come My Fantasies by Electric Wizard and the number one album of 1997. And I didn't set this up. I just fell, I just fell in my this. lap. No, it's not Deftoe. Deftoe. That'd, be, that'd be 99. Significant other. Ah. 99, 2000. It's Deftones around the first. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that album, well, because that album was shaking everything up at that time. Korn was still, they were still <laughs> Yo, okay. what the hell was that? <laughs> Jesus. At that time, Corn was still kind of on the come up, right? They were relevant in 97. They were just starting to pick up steam. Uh, System of a Down wasn't really... They were around, but it, they weren't huge. Limp Biscuit wasn't made yet. Well, they were, but they were still in Jacksonville trying to peddle their their songs to uh, Fieldy from Corn because that was his road tattoo artist was Fred. Back at that time, uh, Stain wasn't around yet because Limp Bizkit wasn't around. So Deftones were kind of like the first mainstream-ish band out of that subculture, whatever you want to call it, the post-grunge era, kind of mm-hmm. going into the new metal. There we go. Which they're not, but they are. It's like POD. Right. They're not, but they are. Um, disturbed. They're not, but they are. But yeah, Deftones around the fur, which is pretty bad. I'm surprised to hear Electric Wizard is. We said they're number two. Number yeah. two in 97? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yep. Because that's on the uh, doom metal mm. spectrum of all of that. And that kind of died off around 94, somewhere yeah. like that. Not to mention in that time of rock, too, is yeah. still a lot of confusion of, oh, we still love Aerosmith. Tom Petty's still relevant. But so is Motley Crue. So is was yeah. Nirvana. 
Not Black Sabbath fighters. is awesome, but yeah. have you heard of this band, Electric Wizard? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like, so it was such just a melting pot. It was kind of, they were trying to figure it out at that time. So yeah, it was just a, well, you got heavy riffs, make loud noises, love Satan, come on down, get in the <laughs> Billboard Top 25 yeah. for rock. Yeah. Yeah, because also that was the time of when country music hit its spike. Thank you, Garth Brooks, I guess. Joe Diffie. Joe Diffie. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves a pickup, man. I don't know what that means. Is that one of his songs? Yeah. I just know the Prop Me Up by the Jukebox song. Is that Joe Diffie? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm not confident. No, Novella, pull that shit up. <laughs> Give me Joe Diffie's greatest hits for 400, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> what is Joe Diffie? <laughs> <laughs> it is Joe Diffie. It is Joe Diffie. Oh, okay. I feel good and bad all at the same time. I, <laughs> I knew that, and I was right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> give, me, give me his first top five greatest hits. Yeah. Top five? Yeah. Okay. The ultimate Diffie collection. Call himself the Diff. I don't I think so. I would. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm the diff. Let me I'm pick the me diff. off. Pick up man. Third rock from the sun, bigger than the Beatles. If the devil danced in home. I don't know any of that, what you just said. <laughs> I don't know anything you just said. What's your first, what's your earliest memory of music where it, where it got you? Where you were like. Bought on game. Okay. Okay. It's a toss-up between Bloodhound Gang and Eminem. Yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. for you, for that age. That was the first mixed CD I made. I was nine years old. I made a mixed CD of nothing but Bloodhound Gang and Eminem. Listened to it every day on the bus. Mm-hmm. One of the first mixed CDs I had was primarily Eminem and um, had some head PE on it. <laughs> and... Uh, My Chemical Romance, oddly enough. That's a really weird CD that I made. That's a good CD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, but I want to say that's like what? I just don't, I don't have an answer really because I have a terrible memory. I mean, so. that's still good. That's still right in the <laughs> wheelhouse of yeah of, of, of starting to, to remember music. Mine, because you always listen to what your parents listen to. So my, my dad listened to classic rock. My mom listened to whatever her friends listened to. So she listened to classic rock. Then she would listen to country. We never listened to really like classic hits or you know whatever you want to call it so it's a it's a melting pot of tom petty from my dad black sabbath from my dad and then metallica because growing up in that area that's all that's on the radio station at that time and probably still to this day too i mean Mm -hmm. still you guys think back in that's probably 86 87 88 i'm around four or five years old is when you start developing the jam Yeah. yeah My parents' vehicle was like Guns N' Roses, ACDC, Metallica, Cinderella. When I, I remember, even at three years old, on my birthday, ACDC was coming to town. And that's what I wanted for my birthday. And my mama was like, you're three. You don't know what you want. And she said that was like her biggest regret. When she finally didn't see Metallica when I was a little older, she's like, I wish I would have took you. That's all you wanted. You're three years old. And you knew what you wanted. I wish I would have took you. Is it before? Maybe it was. I'm not sure. When did What's-His-Face die? Who? The original Lead Singer of ACDC. Yeah, it was like 78. So that was way, way back then. Yeah. Okay. Either way, she was like, I wish I would have took you. You said you wanted to go. You should have took you. <laughs> have you ever seen ACDC? Mm-hmm. Live? Yeah, not when I was three. Yeah. yeah um, later on to go see it. It was uh, Black Eyes or whatever. Yeah. I think. I, Jesus Christ. We've Are been you to fucking so kidding me? No. Where'd you go? Where'd you go to see it? Nashville. Okay, I, I, went, to, I went to Louisville. Louisville I went to Nashville. Kentucky to go see it. Yeah, but it, I'm not an ACDC fan. Excuse me to the world. I know. I'm not an ACDC fan. I like them. They're okay to listen to, but I'm not a huge fan. Mm-hmm. But I feel that same way about Kiss. The same. Yeah. I'm right there with you with Kiss. Like, like There's songs those, I like, but... Yeah, like I'll listen to I won't turn them off. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ACDC. I want to rock and roll all night. Click. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. That's all I needed. <laughs> First concert. First concert ever. Uh, Nickelback, Hander, Hoopa Stank. <laughs> I was like... That's awesome. I don't know how old it was, but yeah. Really? Because I wanted to go to ACDC, but no, my first one had to be Nickelback, Nickelback Hander, and Hoopa Stank. With that tour, you probably got them with like good Nickelback. Like the state. It was probably off the state tour when they were like first coming out. 
I'll say it right here. I was in love with them then, and I right still don't care. I listen to them now. So I was a Nickelback it. fan in the beginning. I'll mm-hmm. still listen to their music. Like, I probably won't turn it off. I'll make fun of it all the way through a five-minute song. But their first album, The State... You're not allowed to make fun of Nickelback anymore. Uh, it's all trap. It's all trap. You're only allowed to, oh, yeah. you're only allowed to make That's fun right. of trap now. They're the new Nickelback. Yeah, they're the new Nickelback. Yeah. I'm still gonna make fun of Nickelback though. <laughs> still gonna do it. Yeah, still. still and I, I, whatever concert we've seen, I've actually I've seen them several times, um, before different people that were with them. That one, um, it was me, my mom, my brother, and someone else. And I was really excited for like I didn't really understand who all these other bands were at the time, but I really liked Tuba Stink, and Hinder was new, like that was brand new at the time. Yeah. And then Nickelback, and I, I remember it was a lot of like you know. Um, Dirt, I think was the name of that song. Um, shoot. It was older. Yeah. So, but I think that was the name of Dirt, it was called. I, for Nickelback? Yeah. I don't know. It's got to be off the state. No, we'll I think it was Silverside. Oh, that makes sense, too. Touring um, with those other bands, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, crap. I think it's called Dirt. I don't know, but it's a good one. I like it. It's one of my favorite songs at the time, but I guess I've listened to it in a while. But yeah, Hinder was definitely brand new at that time. I was like, who, who dis? Yeah. And Hoobas Stink, of course. But yeah, yeah. Forever and ever. I like Hoobas Stink. I still yeah. like Hoobas Stink. I still jam out. Yeah. First concert. Afro Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Afro Man. Yeah. You can't beat it. It was a good concert. Too. Yeah, I didn't say it's... I mean, he was like an hour late, but... <laughs> that was here in town, right? And it was kind of... Yeah. It was kind of sad to see him like up there by himself with no band and yeah. really fat, but... Hey, he still... He still st- killed it. He still did it. He still did it. Uh, and I got to smoke a blunt one, so... Hey, can't beat it. And the security yard. <laughs> we were all standing out in a big-ass fucking circle, like 40 of us, just, like, passing around what was ever there. The security guard came out and was like, what's going on here? Well, can I, can I get on it? Yeah, let me get up on this. <laughs> yeah, come on come in. Come on, bud. Make no room. idea why I said dirt. Too bad. I don't know why I was thinking that's the name of that song was dirt. <laughs> but I think it's what it talks about dirt. I know what you... Yeah. I know Mom's exactly. hands. Yep, I yep, know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly. What, I don't know what why I'm talking about. about now. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> your first one? Uh, f- I was five years old. Uh, it was Eddie Money, the Shoreline Amphitheater. Yeah. Yeah, Eddie Money. <laughs> yeah, that was my my first. That's where it all. That's where it all. I guess started concert going. Anyway, mm-hmm. yeah. Was, I mean, I went to like other concerts when I was younger. Like my, a lot of my family rapes? plays music and stuff. And then also yeah. uh, River Bend and Chattanooga. I seen like screaming orphans and stuff like that, but. They weren't like oh yeah band uh, bands. I yeah. used to go to a lot of local metal shows. Yeah, yeah. I used to go to a lot of local metal shows and a bunch of raves. Yeah, yeah. Because that's all that was around here. That well, was I guess local. I'm at first pronounced concert was that. The fun fact about me, who I am now, but that that first concert when I was five, I didn't go to another concert until I was like ten, twelve, something like that. <laughs> it was George Strait. That was the phase my mom was in the country so we all went seen George Strait and like Tim it's a McGraw. Good yeah, it's a good yeah it, it, was, it was a whole festival wasn't bad wasn't bad at the time mm. yeah. then after that yeah it just that was that that was that that was my two years of being a country <laughs> music fan mm. so, I still like Garth Brooks let's be honest I don't have. I'm not gonna say I don't like country. We listen to old school country all the time. Mm. Sing along with it. We mm-hmm. like some Conway Twitty. I like. I like, a, I like a mix. Yeah, yeah, I like a good mix. The new country is is trash. Yeah, garbage. 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 Uh, like we went and seen Sammy Kershaw. Me and my mom did, which was like, we've loved him ever since I was little. I loved him, but I didn't really know. I thought he was dead. And she was like, "You want to go see them?" I was like, "Yes." I thought he was not alive. Yeah. So. As far as new country goes, though, Chris Stapleton is really good. He's, yeah. yeah, he's yeah, uber he's talented. Good. He's a writer, right? He's yeah, he's he's a writer, and he just did the one, the one album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's, he's super mm-hmm. talented. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind him. And then Gary Allen. And I was saying, of yeah, course, and Gary Allen. I'm uh, not we, even gonna we won't sit here and lie. We no, like I'm Gary not gonna Allen. sit here and try to hide <laughs> it. That, that whole that whole Bakersfield connection mm-hmm. thing is. Well, that's why I tell people I think it's because it's that for you, but I, I just like awesome. I always like. I like his sound. Yeah, I know. Dwight Yoakam, too. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, 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 call me crazy. Call me crazy. Go to the website one more time, uh, hellfireradio.com. See everything that we've got going on over there. Also, go to our website, theasylum.productions. You can see everything that we do. We do Inked and Chattered right here uh, every Tuesday night and live right now on Instagram on Monday night. 
Uh, well, we were live on Instagram on uh, Monday oh, nights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then also a Bruise with the Crew and the Asylum Morning Show on Hellfire Radio. Uh, to get to that, all you got to do is download the Live 365 app and search Hellfire Radio, and there you have it. That's 8 to 11, Monday through Friday. Is that it? That's it. That's all. Wrap us up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Wrap Till next time, B. See take you guys. It. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now I've done it.